Once upon a time, there was an idiot who waited for two hours for a girl who he met online and he didn't even know what she looked like. That idiot was me. But I was glad I waited. Ever meet someone and just know they're magic. I am. I'm really sorry that I kept you waiting. No, 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 it's good. Cool. It's, it's fine. It's fine. It's, it's... I'm glad you came. It's, it's great to see you in the flesh. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, my, my daddy wouldn't leave forever. And... Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Took a while for me to get ready as well. So. Oh, no, it's fine. It's just happy that, that you're actually here, seeing you in the flesh. You know. And... I hope you weren't waiting long. No, no. Like, I, I'm only here about. 10 minutes, I'd say, you know, so... Okay, I feel so... Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, it's, it's fine. You know, you know, it's such a small town, but I, I've never seen you around here before. Well, I was homeschooled since I was eight. My mum, Yeah, my mum was really sick, and um, she, well, she died a couple of years ago. Sorry to hear that. Sorry. But, um... Yeah, but I'm in college now. I'm studying computers. Computers? Yeah, I hate it. It's so boring. But apparently I'm good at it, so... Yeah, that's, that's all that matters, I suppose. I really want to travel, actually. Um, Where do you want to go? I just need to get out of here. God, I, I always tell my dad, you can learn more with a tech passport than you can with a textbook. So. Yeah, you probably can, actually, because... Um, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, what do you do? Um, well, I kind of just finished my leaving search, you know, and I didn't get my first choice, so I just kind of took a year out. I don't, I don't know really what I'm doing. I'm kind of a mess at the moment. Go on, lad, give it to her. Give her some Mickey juice. Here, I, re I really have to go. It's normal. Um, yeah. My dad, he'll, he'll be home. I'm really sorry. No, oh, it's, it's cool. Um, do you have a phone number? Or? You know who will give me a phone. <laughs> uh, bloody nine year old brother has a phone. My head was a mess. I kept thinking, what if I die tomorrow? And I never saw her again. Plus, all I wanted to do was spend more and more time with her. What are you doing here? I really need to talk to you, okay? My daddy's gonna be back any minute. I just need 30 seconds, please. Please. Okay, you got a half minute, go. Look, there was this girl, okay, Rebecca Smith. She was in my school and I thought she was everything I ever wanted, okay, but she wasn't. We were at the school disco and we were flirting. We, she went outside for a cigarette. I followed her, we got chatting, things were flirty. And then her friends came out and ruined the moment, okay? Look, what I'm trying to say is, I don't want to do that again. I, I, I don't want to let you go like that, okay? okay. I, I just... Quick, come on. Come on. I must be even telling you what oh, Of course. See Hello? Hey, it's Astrid. Astrid? How's it going? Um, how are you ringing me? I thought you didn't have a phone. <laughs> you gave it to me and we started emailing each other. I'm ringing from a phone box, by the way. A phone box? You went back to the 80s to give me a call. Nice one. <laughs> Funny. You should be a stand-up comedian. I was just wondering, would you mind coming over later? Just...
need someone to talk to. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. It'll be straight over, okay? Meet me at the back of the house? Yeah, yeah. I'll see you then, right? Okay, see you, bye. So, what's the story? She seemed to get some fresh air. After you left, me and Dad had the biggest fight last night. It went on forever. How oh, come? Well, after you left, we kind of figured out that someone would be there. Is he always like that? No, just ever since my mum died. It's actually a miracle he even let me go to college. So I want to travel just to get away. I mean, you don't have to leave the country to do that. What do you mean? Well, I mean, you're old enough now, you know? You can do, do stuff on your own. Yeah, but I'd I'd order my dad. It'd be impossible. Well, I mean, you tell them together. You know, you could. I know it's a bit soon, maybe, but I mean, my friend Darren, he's got a he's got a free room in his flat. You know. Are you serious? Yeah. Why not? Like, you know, I mean. Can we move in there? Yeah. Well, I mean, I just have to run it by him. You know. Well, when when does your dad be around? You know. When... He gets home at one, I think it is. But today. Is that a bit too one, soon? One today. Yeah. Oh, one today is perfect. We'll both do it together. Brilliant. I just have to, you know, run up by Darren and do a few jobs for my ma before I come back. You know, she wants me to get her a packet of sausages and <laughs> other stuff. We got, um, yeah, we'll do it today together. Okay, I'll be here at one o'clock today. Okay. And we're doing it together, okay? Yeah. Okay. Now I just have to convince Darren to let me move in. I presumed he wouldn't mind. You what? Yeah, well, I know it's not ideal, but I mean, if you could just help us out, because there's no way my man's gonna say yes. If I ask her, she's completely free. She's completely free? This is the girl that you just met last night. Yeah, well, I know it's, I know it's a bit soon. It's fast, you haven't even told me her name. Astrid. Astrid? Yeah. What is she, a princess? You see, you always get really weird when I get a girlfriend, like, I, I don't really understand it. It's because I always get left to pick up the pieces. And let's not forget her overprotective father, yeah? Overprotective father? Do you know what I think? I think it's because you haven't had a girlfriend in about 10 years and you're just completely... Keep just... going down that road and all chances are gone, my friend. Chances? Does that actually mean I have some sort of glimmer of hope here? When this falls to shit, which it will, don't come running to me. Yes, legend, legend. Cheers, man. Cheers. Where are you going? Gonna meet the dad. I'll get the body bag ready for you. Good luck. Dad here. Yeah, he's just in the kitchen having lunch. Okay, so we're doing this now, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Hey, come in to sit in the room. I'm going to tell him we're here. Okay. You'll be in a minute, yeah? Yeah. Okay. See ya. And that was it. I was blamed for her dad's murder. When Astrid said she was good with computers, she wasn't lying. She hacked into mine and deleted all the emails we sent each other. She also filled my hard drive with these pictures and stories about how I was madly in love with her. The night I saw them arguing, it wasn't because her father thought she had a boyfriend. Astrid told him she thought she saw someone outside. They filed a report with the police and she gave them my description. All the DNA pointed to me. Yep, she did a number on me. Nobody suspected her at all. Oh, and one more thing. Her name isn't Astrid. It's... Hey! Somebody told me you were leaving. Yeah, I'm just waiting for a taxi to bring me to the airport. I can't believe you're going. Well, what about the house and your dad's business and all that? Well, I have to sell them both. It's, it's been pretty hard. I'm just so glad the bastard's dead. I mean, the guy who killed my dad, of course. Yeah, of course. I mean, who else could you have been talking about? <laughs> but then, like, what about college? You're not even finished. Yeah, well... It's like I always told my dad you'd learn more with a passport than you can with any textbook. Plus I think it's good to get away from it all. Just become a whole new person. I think I might even change my name. Oh, come on. What would you change it to? I was thinking... Astrid. 